Oh. At nagbabalik na nga ang ZB1 mga kaibigan. Yan na nga ang quality na sobrang na ko. After almost one month. Pero yun, napasensya nga pala. Uh, significantly na delay yung review ko. Pero ito na nga ang full review ko ng Infinix Hot 20S. Maybe one of the best value na um, budget phones. Parang ang weird sabihin na na ang ganda yung value na isang budget phone. Although meron talaga mga budget phone na hindi maganda ang value kahit na budget nga siya. Pero yun, ang lipit na value na ito with one flaw. Hindi naman siya fatal flaw pero um, one thing talaga na take note mo if balak mong bilhin to, which malalaman mo maya-maya. As I said, pasensya nga po mga kaibigan at uh, sobrang na-delay yung pag-review ko dito. Uh, pero ito na nga po tayo, ang Infinix Hot 20S for only uh, 8,000 pesos as of making this video, although uh, sold out siya ngayon. So ito nga yung specs ng Hot 20S, pwede nyo na lang i-pause yung video. Pero yung main specs na kailangan nyo lang malaman dito is yung 6.78 inch na 1080p, IPS LCD display with a 120Hz refresh rate. MediaTek Helio G96, 8GB of memory with 128GB of storage, 50MP main sensor on a triple camera setup which is surprisingly a pretty good performer for a budget phone. Dual stereo speakers with a 5000mAh battery and 18 watts of fast charging. And take note, kahit anong mga parang nitpicks ko dito or mga complaints ko is hindi siya justified at all considering yung price nito. Siyempre yung review ko pa din dito is subjective so ayun nga. So unang unang is build quality. So this has a plastic back, a plastic frame, and glass front which actually hindi ni specify ni Infinix like what type of uh, glass yung gamit nila dito. Hindi ako sure kung corning grill glass ba to or what. But yeah, so far sa so one week na ginamit ko, well, more than one week na ginamit ko, is uh, nag-held up well naman yung screen niya. Very nice naman for the most part. Tapos yeah, kahit na plastic back and uh, plastic yung frame neto, is uh, it barely flexes if I try to bend it. Solid naman yung build niya for the most part. Although ang pinakayo ko lang siguro sa build quality and design is yung... Uh, glossy finish sa likod which alam niyo naman ayoko na ayoko nito mas gusto ko sana kung uh, matte finish to pero yan obviously yung ginawa ng Infinix is uh, glossy finish siya tapos yun dito naman sa may camera modules mismo um, one thing talaga na ayoko dito is since yung parang camera bump niya is itong mga rings mismo yung glass na nagko-cover sa lens is uh, dito sa banda na to is easily magagather ng dust dito sa mga singit-singit na to. Tapos pag naglagay ka ng case or if currently may case ka, is uh, pwedeng sumingit doon yung dust uh, over time. Tapos uh, pwedeng makakos yan ng parang indent kapag may nakapasok na dust doon. Now, of course, magiging permanent since uh, plastic nga to. Pero yun, kind of a bummer nung ginamit ko to is uh, hindi ko na lang ginamit yung case. Pero yun, if gagamitin nyo to na may case, uh, highly suggested ko sa inyo is yung hindi individually like cut out yung mga rings na yan. As in, isang buong uh, open lang siya kapag bibili kayo ng case. So, ito nga quad LED flash nya which gets really bright. Again, 50 megapixel main sensor, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth nga dyan. Ito yung Infinix logo. And pagdating naman sa mga color options nyo, ang binili ko nga is yung black color option. Uh, available din in blue, purple, and white. Tapos sa right side naman ng phone, nandito yung power button slash fingerprint scanner. Which is uh, fairly snappy for the most part. Although not the clickiest. Uh, mas maganda yung feedback actually ng volume rockers which are... Uh, fairly nice and clicky naman. Sa left side, we have the uh, dual SIM card tray along with a micro SD card slot. Tapos ang maganda nga dito is compared to most budget or even mid-range smartphones is uh, meron siyang dedicated na two slots para sa SIM card and isang dedicated slot para sa micro SD card. So very nice yun. And one thing actually na hindi in-indicate ni Infinix is if uh, IP certified yung uh, Hot 20S or kahit na water resistant. Pero meron din naman tayong... Um, rubber seal around sa outer part ng SIM card tray so which leads me to believe na feeling ko ah um, water resistant to some degree yung uh, Hot 20S pero just use it in the rain or in the shower pero wag na wag nyo may submerge underwater I mean for the price wag kayong mag-expect ng kahit anong IP certification dito tapos wala naman tayo sa top and at the bottom we have the uh, 3.5mm headphone jack 
uh, main microphone, USB Type-C port, and the bottom firing speaker. Of course, harap nga again, we have the 6.78 inch na IPS LCD display. And at the top, nandiyan ang ating hole punch para sa front facing camera. And actually, mas suggest ko is gumamit ka ng dark or black na wallpaper para hindi obvious yung take out ring dito sa hole punch para sa front facing camera. Tapos at the top, we have the earpiece speaker grill which also acts as the uh, secondary speaker. So, dual stereo speakers nga ang meron tayo dito sa uh, Hot 20S which is uh, very nice. But yeah, overall solid naman yung build ng Hot 20S. Ang ayoko lang talaga is again yung glossy plastic finish nga dito. Again, I don't mind if it's a uh, plastic back as long as na wag na wag mong gagawin na glossy finish yan. And of course, again, yung uh, camera bumps nga. Tapos pagdating naman sa display na ito, again, we have a 6.78 inch na IPS LCD display with a 120Hz refresh rate which is a uh, very nice, it feels really smooth. And uh, legit naman siya for the most part na uh, 120Hz display, although right out the box is nakaset actually siya sa auto switch refresh rate which I don't recommend. So for example, if gagamit ka ng certain apps, for example like uh, Facebook and Twitter, um, hindi niya gagamitin actually yung 120Hz for example if nag scroll ka which doesn't feel good alam niyo naman yung feeling noon once na masanay ka na sa anything above 60Hz so highly suggested ko is just stick to 120Hz and ang kagandahan dito uh, kumpara sa Infinix 05G na nareview ko early this year is hindi siya nag slow down and hindi siya uh, nilalagay sa 60Hz kapag below 30% na yung battery so very nice nga yun. although hindi ginawa ni Infinix na option yun mas gusto ko yung ganun na just let me stick to 120Hz hanggang mamatay yung phone pero yun nga tapos pagdating naman sa brightness nito it gets decently bright although um, not to the point na comfortably mo siyang bababasa under direct sunlight pero uh, you can't really complain it's a budget phone but real solid naman yung quality ng IPS LCD panel na ginamit dito ng Infinix. And even though the display doesn't get all that bright, ang enjoyable pa din actually na media consumption device na ito, uh, paired with those dual stereo speakers. Viewing angles are pretty good, uh, minimal color shift even at extreme angles. And uh, ito nga, yung tunog ng stereo speakers niya which is again, world's better talaga kumpara sa speakers ng Infinix 05G and it gets really loud hindi siya ganun ka clear um, but it doesn't get distorted that distorted even at max volume but yeah bukod sa mediocre brightness na itong uh, Hot 20S is uh, very nice pa din naman yung uh, LCD panel na ginamit dito ng Infinix. And moving on naman tayo sa cameras na itong uh, Hot 20S which is surprisingly good even for a budget phone. So again, 50 megapixel main sensor, uh, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth. And pagdating naman sa front facing camera na ito, we do have an 8 megapixel sensor with dual LED flash. So tulad ng uh, 05G, if I'm not mistaken, meron din na front facing flash yun. Yes, meron din to for night selfies pero um, nakakasilaw siya so ewan ko kung paano nyo gagamitin yan um, pero yan tapos pagdating naman sa video recording capabilities neto up to 1440p or Quad HD which is kind of a weird resolution to record in pero hey, uh, better than uh, a max resolution at 1080p siguro same din goes for the front facing camera now when it comes to taking pictures in the AI cam which is parang yung default photo mode ng Hot 20S is enough ko actually yung auto HDR and ito nga yung results na nakuha ko really good pictures especially for a budget phone really good detail colors are not oversaturated at all and pretty respectable yung dynamic range nya tapos medyo ibang kwento naman pagdating sa low light or nighttime shots it does its best para mag overcompensate para tanggalin yung noise sacrificing sharpness and sobrang soft ng detail ng uh, nighttime shots although ito naman yung result if gagamitin mo yung super night mode which is Mm, I mean for a budget phone, expect ko na ang kahinaan talaga nito. Kahit na maganda yung pictures na tinitik nito in good lighting is a magiging weakness talaga nito. Of course like with most smartphone cameras is shooting at night time. Tapos ito naman yung selfies na pwede mong expect sa front facing camera nito. Tapos ito naman yung Quad HD na video na may expect mo sa uh, main camera nito. And wala siyang available na kahit anong stabilization.
Okay, so this is the vlog test para sa Infinix H20s recording at Quad HD at 30fps and yung naririnig nyo ngayon is mula sa microphone mismo ng H20s and while actually ang ganda niya ng quality niya for a budget phone is wala siyang kahit anong uh, stabilization kahit so for stabilization Tapos nandito na po tayo sa performance which is actually nandito yung main flow ng Hot 20S. So day-to-day -day test, walang problema dito. Opening closing apps is uh, pretty um, snappy for the most part. Uh, multitasking, walang problema with that 8 gigs of memory. Paired with that 120Hz refresh rate. And uh, kasama na din tong Fusion which is basically kukuha siya ng uh, storage sa phone mo which will act as memory. Pero uh, not so much of a fan of that. As in, para sa akin, considering din na technically a uh, budget phone to with 8 gigs of memory is uh, more than enough na yun. But hey, option yun kung gusto nyo. And uh, again, uh, just scrolling through the UI, going through the UI, opening closing apps is real snappy for the most part. And two things actually na highly masasuggest ko sa inyo na baguhin nyo in the settings para significantly smoother feeling yung uh, Hot 20S nyo is of course sa mga nakakalam na is uh, of course yung developer options so punta ko lang sa build number uh, press repeatedly hanggang lumabas yung you are now a developer tapos punta ka naman sa system tapos developer options tapos scroll down hanggang mahanap nyo yung and window animation scale uh, transition animation scale tsaka animator duration scale uh, all set nyo yan sa 0.5 tapos isa pa dito naman sa menu, tapos appearance may nakalimutan ko actually, ito, sa page effect is uh, set nyo yan sa over slide as actually dito sa slide like yung default na animation nya, if nag scroll ka sa um, home screen is parang delayed yung feeling nya so yun, uh, para mas faster feeling yung phone nyo is uh, highly suggested ko over slide yan and yeah, pagdating naman sa games nito um, first up is uh, League of Legends Wild Rift. So dito sa graphic settings na uh, minax out as best I can para sa device na to. So uh, 60 FPS, uh, unfortunately hindi pa available yung 90 or even 120. So high maxed out na lahat yan. So pagdating naman sa Wild Rift is walang problema naman na iraran to ng Hot 20S. And even in prolonged gaming sessions is hindi siya nag-overheat. Uh, kasi consider ko yung Wild Rift na one of the more lighter Android games, uh, hindi siya ganun ka demanding kahit na even weaker budget phones can handle running this smoothly and similar games, Mobile Legends, uh, PUBG Mobile and uh, Call of Duty is wala din problema dito sa Hot 20S although pag naging Genshin Impact na yung usapan so yan, currently running Genshin Impact at the uh, high graphics preset at 60fps tapos motion blur turned off uh, which is para sa akin is yung sweet spot ng eye candy and the smooth performance naman for the most part hindi siya uh, yung solid na 60 fps although if gusto mo na ganun na solid 60 fps yung performance neto is uh, medium to low settings yung masasuggest ko pero this is actually pretty good uh, again combination of eye candy and smooth performance naman for the most part Tapos ayun, as nakikita nyo naman so far is pretty solid naman yung performance neto uh, in Genshin Impact. Although ang problema is if prolong ka magalaro uh, ng Genshin Impact and similar uh, demanding games in the Play Store is uh, it will get significantly hot. Uh, para sa akin, uh, siguro dahil nagluluto ako at uh, medyo manhit na din yung kamay ko sa init. So yun nga, the phone will get significantly hot if maglalaro ka again something like Genshin Impact for prolonged periods of time, siguro over 1 hour. So, hindi naman siya maabot sa point na um, uncomfortable na para i-hold yung phone. Although, hindi ko masasuggest for most people na i-tolerate yung uh, heat ng phone neto for prolonged periods of time. So, ang highly masasuggest ko sa inyo is either take a break after 1 to 2 hours or bumili ka ng phone cooler uh, kahit yung uh, gawa ng Xiaomi Poco mismo. But yeah, other than that, solid yung performance neto. Hindi naman siya nag over throttle so, uh, very solid naman yung performance even in prolonged periods. Although again, ang sabi ko nga sa inyo is wag nyong i-tolerate yung heat niya. So yeah, overall, very solid yung performance ng uh, Infinix Hot 20S. 
even for a budget phone, it's, it's actually insane na ito yung performance na makukuha mo for something that's 8,000 pesos. Around 8 to 9,000 pesos or under $200 US. Again, with the main flaw just being it gets significantly hot. Pero again, uh, not to the point na magiging uncomfortable to hold yung phone. And pagdating naman sa battery life nito, which I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, kahit na hindi ganun ka-optimize yung G96 na nandito or hindi ganun ka-efficient as a 12 nanometer process yung gamit ng uh, G96 is uh, very nice naman yung battery life niya. So sa medium to heavy use ko, which is a combination of social media, uh, watching videos, gaming, and some picture taking, I was able to get uh, six and a half hours of screen on time with 48% by the end of the day. Tapos if lighter user ka, mainly social media ka lang, texting, calling, ganon, and you're just gonna be using this for about four hours a day, then expect to end the day with about over 60% left, baka 70% pa, with again about 4 hours of screen on time. Tapos in the event lang naman na mapatay may battery life ng uh, Hot 20 s in one day, is meron naman tong 18 watts of fast charging with the included wall charger. Although one weird thing, so usually sa mga fast charging capabilities ng mga smartphones, is uh, most of the time gagana lang siya if naka-on yung phone, and if nakapatay is significantly slower yung charging ng phone. So, sa case ng Hot 20S, with the phone turned on at 1% and charging up to 100%, is eh, sinabot siya ng 2 hours and 30 minutes. Which actually napakatagal for 18 watts of fast charging. Usually kasi uh, a 5,000 mAh battery charge with 18 watts of uh, output is usually abuti ng 2 hours 10 minutes. Mga ganun. Although if you charge mo yung Hot 20S from 0 to 100 with the phone turned off, is abutin ka lang in 1 hour and 50 minutes. So with the weird fast charging uh, behavior aside, is uh, I would give the battery life on the Hot 20S an S. Very, very good. So if balak mo bilhin yung Infinix Hot 20S, is actually highly recommended ko pa din to. Uh, lalo na if uh, more of a casual user ka. Pero if hardcore mobile gamer ka, if you're gonna be using this mainly for gaming, is highly recommended ko talaga na mag-invest ka and buy a phone cooler. But yeah, overall, the Infinix Hot 20S is a pleasant surprise. I mean, in-expect ko na magiging maganda to, pero considering na yung cameras din neto is pretty damn good, even for a budget phone, is napakalupit ng value neto, and I can easily recommend this phone to pretty much anyone. So once na maging available na ulit to, is I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Hopefully nakatulong naman to, and of course, as always, uh, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.